So to get the absolute most features you can from the Google Pixel Watch, I do highly recommend going ahead and connecting a Fitbit account. So I'll show you how to do that here. So this little prompt here, I can tap open Fitbit app. And so I already have it on my uh, Google Pixel 3a here. If you didn't already have it, I think it would have showed you earlier in the setup process to download it. So if you happen to already be a Fitbit user, this is what it would look like. You'd be in your dashboard. You would tap up here on your profile picture and then you would tap set up a device. And here now at the top of the list is the Google Pixel Watch. If it's not at the top, you may have to scroll down and find it lower in the list. And if you don't already have a Fitbit account, you'll be prompted to set up an account. I do have other videos on my channel showing you how to do that, but it's usually pretty straightforward. So once you fill in all that information, then you'll be on this page. So I'll go ahead and show you what it's like to tap here on Google Pixel Watch. And this is telling me that it will replace the Inspire 3 that's currently connected to my account. I don't necessarily want to do that, so because I like to keep my device data clean and separate. So I'm going to go back here and back again. And I think I actually will just log out and create a new account. So I'm going to say join Fitbit. And so here you need to enter an email that will be associated with your Fitbit account. And you'll need to create a password. You'll also need to agree to Fitbit's terms of service. And then you can opt in or out to their newsletter. So if you're going to go through this, you can follow along with me or you can skip ahead if you already don't have a device set up or you're going to replace one. All right, so I've got my information filled out. I'm going to tap next. So it's asking me to check my email to verify my email address. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I've received the verification email. So I'll click here and I'll click verify your email. And it says email is verified. Go back to the Fitbit app or website. So I will go back to that app here. All right, email verified. So I'll tap next. And we have a privacy policy information. I'll tap I agree to. And then you'll need to enter the information here. First name, last name, birthday, height, weight, and your sex. So you can just tap on these to change like so. All right, so once you've entered your information, you can tap create an account. All right, so it's asking which device I'm setting up. This is indeed the Google Pixel Watch, so I'll go ahead and tap on it. Again, if you need to scroll down to find it in the list, you can. So it says tap setup and it says I need to update the Fitbit app. So I will go ahead and set up Fit, set up Fitbit Google Pixel Watch. Make sure your Fitbit app is updated and your phone is running Android OS 7 plus. Okay. So I might need to go to the app store here. Play store, I should say. And then I'll tap in the search bar and I'll type Fitbit. I'll tap on that in the results and then I'll go ahead and tap update here. All right, so now it's installed and I'll go ahead and tap open. And there we go. So it's uh, offering me a free trial of premium. You can also add two factor authentication. You can do those things later here. And then you have the Fitbit dashboard here. So if I tap on the profile picture, looks like it doesn't have the device. So I'm going to tap set up a device. And then I'll tap Google Pixel Watch. And then I'll tap set up. So there we go. So now there's some Fitbit privacy information. You can click on any of these blue links to read more. Otherwise, go ahead and tap I accept. And it says, go to the Google Pixel Watch app and check their watch is connected. Make sure your watch is nearby. Let's see if the watch is going on. It looks like it is, but it looks like it did get disconnected. So maybe I will 
go back to the settings and go to Bluetooth. So that should be connected. But I'll tap plus here. Okay, so maybe it wasn't connected. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go back to Fitbit and then tap try again. It says connecting to your watch. This could take about a minute. Keep your watch nearby to establish a connection. So I no longer have that phone disconnect icon, so it should be working to connect. And there we go. So there's just some information about what you can have. Active zone minutes, ECG and sleep tracking are the three that weren't available without the Fitbit app. So I'll tap next. It says Fitbit's ready for your Google Pixel Watch. Use the Fitbit app to view exercise heart rate, sleep, and other activity stats you track on the watch. Use the Google Pixel Watch app to manage your watch, change watch faces, and update preferences. So it seems like at least for this first gen, there's gonna be two different apps you'll need to use to manage this watch. So I'll go ahead and tap done. And it does say that your Google Pixel Watch comes with a six month Fitbit Premium membership. And you can start this now, but you can also start this at a later time. So I'm going to do that later and I'm gonna tap this little X here. And so now we have Google Pixel Watch here in our list of devices. So I can actually tap on this. And it looks like we can customize the reminders to move and our main goal. So I'll just show you here, like I can change this to active zone minutes and I can turn reminders to move off or on. And let's see if there's anything else here. So you might need to, one thing is tap on this health metrics tab. And before it can collect any data here, it actually needs you to give it permission. So if you tap get started, then you can read through about what it tracks and what its limitations are. And then you can say, I agree. And then you get this. So until you do that, you won't get anything other than I believe your resting heart rate on these graphs. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have premium, you only get the last seven days, but that is just a limitation for premium. So if I tap on this again, I guess that really is the only thing there. Interesting. So if I go on the watch and I go back here, we still have steps, heart rate, exercise. All right, so it says it's analyzing sleep, check back later. It has a little tip here. So it looks like I will only see this benefit once I actually start collecting data here, so. And another thing you will want to set up is this stress management. So if you tap here, it will tell you about the stress management score and how it generates it. It's not intended to diagnose or treat any medical condition and should not be relied on for medical purposes. So as long as you agree and understand all of that, you can tap I agree. It gives you a little bit of information about the stress management score and how it figures out your score from these data types. You can tap next here, and then you can see how it changes over time. And you can also log your mood throughout the day if you want to. It's called reflections. And I guess we just have to say start reflecting. So these reflections are basically pretty basic. Are you very calm, calm, neutral, stressed, or very stressed? I would say that I am calm right now. So I'll go ahead and log that reflection. And then here's your weekly chart and a monthly chart. We don't have any data yet, but you can see here there is that reflection. You can also log another reflection there. And then you have your history of your stress management score and any reflections. So those are the two things you need to set up for sure before you can start collecting data. Everything else should be 
ready to go at the time of setting it up. If you'd like to see more tutorial videos on the Pixel Watch, consider subscribing as I'll be putting out more videos to help you get the most out of all these features. And otherwise, if you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up down below as it really helps this video and my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.